We've been really interested in fishers partly because over the last really about 20, 25 years, their population and their core range, so northern Minnesota, has gone down by about 50 percent. I mean, we're near eight to 10,000 fishers now. It was twice that. What's interesting is that they're declining in parts of their core range, but they're also doing better in some areas. You know, we've thought for years that conifer was a critical component of their habitat. As it turns out, it's not. And it's not just here. Pennsylvania is finding this as well. For land managers, it's looking at how is their survival, reproduction, what are they eating? How does that compare to the north? So this would go on a male. This is like a 60 gram collar. Um, the ones on females are about 40 grams. And the GPS is getting locations for us even when we can't be there. We track them more intensely the first few weeks until we kind of figure out where they're at and where we can usually find them. She might just be resting in it. Um, she might have kits in there. A lot of times males will come and they'll sit at the base, look up, and wait. We had one last year that he waited for half a day. A coyote came by, he went up a tree 10 feet, came back down, the coyote left, and eventually she came out and made it. Nobody has ever documented a fisher giving birth to their kits in anything other than a tree cavity. As the kits age and get more independent, they sometimes will use logs. We don't really know why. It's a question that people at study fishers like to ponder. But I mean, the females are really, they don't really top eight pounds. With the tail, they're a lot longer, and so that weight gets, looks a little bigger than it is. And so males would be, by weight, they're over twice as big. They're actually less elongated than other mustelids that they're closer related to, like martins. Weasels, small weasels, are basically the diameter of a mouse, but with more power behind it. And so they can get in, they can eat mice, sleep in their nests, they can get into their nests. And so as you go towards fishers, um, long-term evolutionary selective pressures, they're not quite as elongated as martins and, and smaller weasels, so they can store more body fat. It helps them be more insulated or in the winter. If it's really bad weather, they don't have to go out and hunt. Martins basically every day are out hunting. They can live in really small territories because in deciduous forests where you have a lot of mass-producing trees, you can have a lot of prey, so they don't need as much area. The more area, the more time it takes, they can't defend it against other animals.